Good morning, Quiet Copter 101 here. What I got for you today is um, there's been some concern about the potential for flyaway with this quadcopter if it loses signal with lots of signal from its uh, transmitter. Uh, somebody had done a quick test to demonstrate that uh, the motors when it does lose signal will continue to operate for about 20 seconds and then power down. Um, that could still be a problem because 20 seconds is a long time. So what I'm going to do here today here in this big open uh, dry lake bed here is demonstrate. Let's how, see how far this could actually fly for 20 seconds. First off I'm going to start off to demonstrate its, its powering down and then I'm going to go upwind, put it in hover and then turn off the transmitter and uh, walk down when with it as it powers itself down. So I hope you enjoy this flight. This, this could be an interesting demo. Okay, first off I'm going to plug in the power to the quadcopter. And turn on the transmitter and bind it to the quadcopter. Two up and downs binds it. And next thing I'm going to do is grab it, get a good grab grip on it, and power it up to where it's pulling upward. And then I'm going to turn off that transmitter. One, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, thousand five, thousand six, thousand seven, thousand eight, thousand nine, thousand ten, thousand eleven, thousand twelve, thousand thirteen, thousand fourteen, thousand fifteen. 2019, and yes, it does. After 20 seconds, the motors drop, and this is this would be dropping from the sky at this point. So what we're going to do is turn on the transmitter, rebind it, and now let's take a walk upwind and see what happens when we lose uh, signal from the transmitter while it is actually flying. Okay, we're a good deal upwind here at the field. I'm going to put it in hover here, and then I'm going to turn off the transmitter and see what happens. So this should be interesting. Let's see, I want to put it hover directly upwind. And which way is the wind blowing? From that direction there. Okay, get ready. I'm going to turn off the transmitter now. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 5, 1,006, 1,007. Obviously, that wasn't enough. <laughs> Let's send it up higher and more forward into the wind. Okay, transmitter's coming off now. 1,001, 1,002, okay, it goes into hover. Those are four thousand, five thousand, six thousand, seven thousand, eight thousand. Okay, it was descending there. This time I'm going up in a climb and turning off the throttle. It's in a climb. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, thousand five, thousand six, thousand seven, thousand eight, thousand nine, thousand ten, thousand eleven, thousand twelve, thousand thirteen, thousand fourteen, thousand fifteen, thousand sixteen, thousand seventeen, eighteen, thousand nineteen, thousand twenty. And now it starts its descent. And it runs upside down <laughs> until shutting down. Okay, did you see that? So 20, it, it does shut down. Um, it does not maintain this, the last pitch and roll command. It levels itself off when it loses contact, but then it comes down. Its motors continue to turn, which is a concern of mine <laughs> after that crash. <laughs> nice and dirty right now dusty. Let's do that one more time. We'll go upwind again. I'll send it upwind in a climb. I'll send it farther. Now keep in mind if you were flying downwind at the time you you go out of uh, contact you're gonna fly even farther away. Now this does seem to work but 20 seconds is a long long, long time. I wish that the uh, they could shorten that time period significantly and reduce concern about flying for such a long time. Okay, rebinding. This time I'm going to try to stop it on its descent. Uh, 
off on I had to turn it off and on um, sounds good this time when it starts its descent I am going to try to rebind it with the transmitter okay going upwind in a climb shutting off the transmitter it's climbing thousand one thousand two thousand three thousand four thousand five I'm just going to turn the transmitter on and see if it regains the transmitter after it starts its drop it's starting its descent okay you can re regain it you're going to need to do a rebind though let's go upwind again in a climb shutting off the transmitter it levels off transmitter is off right now coming down wind okay now it's starting its descent oh heck <laughs> my stick came off <laughs> let's try that again do I still got control <laughs> my stick came off Let's do that one more time. Jeez, I hope I don't damage this by doing it, but I want to demonstrate it for you, for my viewers. Throw coming off. Our transmitter is off. It's flying back downwind. I'm going to, when it starts its descent, I'm going to rebind it. Starting its descent, rebinding. You have to do two ups and downs to rebind this quadcopter, remember that. Going back upwind again. In a climb. Shutting off, giving it more throttle. Shutting off the throttle, or the uh, transmitter. It's coming back downwind. Continuing its flight. Waiting for it to start its descent before I attempt to rebind it. Trying to block the sun. <laughs> and here, here it comes down. It's starting its descent. Rebinding. So yeah, now you know what it does. <laughs> So if you do fly out of range, or if you do fly this distant, try to keep it upwind like I'm doing here. Turning off the throttle, or the transmitter. Try to keep it upwind so you have a chance of rebinding. If you fly downwind and it flies for 20 seconds, you're going to have no chance of recovering it. You know, it's going to keep on flying and it's going to go for a good distance. But if you can keep the quadcopter upwind, um, yeah. Here, it's starting its descent. It, now this is great, you know, uh, instead of dropping at high speed, coming down in a nice slow descent like that, that's great. Re rebinding. So yeah, this might be a cool feature. But I just wished that um, MJX would have made that sooner instead of 20 seconds. 20 seconds is a long time for that to do that. So, I think I've demonstrated enough. That's what it does with loss of contact. On a slightly breezy day here. Let me turn this off. I'm going to have to clean this up good <laughs> with those hard landings. So this is Quadcopter 101. Interesting, interesting test. I think that was very interesting, don't you? Quadcopter 101. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.